government is also working to ensure conformity to the 30% access to government procurement opportunities, ACPO, requirement for youth, women, and persons with disability as an informative, affirmative action targeting the special groups. Let me say this, just one minute. One, it is not enough, in G, uh, Mr. Ketch, it is not enough to have women registered and be ACPO. My ministry, and I'm sure the agencies have told them, must give contracts to women who are women. You know, we know that there are men who have registered companies as women companies. Now, in law, we say you must lift the veil. We must not only just award contracts on paper, we must also have an interaction with the contractors and know them and know who they are so that we have so many the other day, let me say this, the other day somebody came to my office and said, oh, you know, uh, as you know, they come. So it's no need to pretend here because we are in public. So they come and said, you know, I need your support. Uh, you know, I have a company. I want to do some construction. I said, okay, well, fine. We support uh, all contractors. He told me, but the good news is that my company is ACPO. So I told him, but you are, you are over 50 years and you are a man. There can never be an ACPO for an over 50 years. But he said, ah, don't worry. The company I have, I put my sister. My sister is a director. Oh, I said, okay, so what does your sister do? He told me, she's studying abroad, don't worry about that. She's working there abroad. I want the DGs who are here to make sure that all the contractors who are given work you can see the face of the people working there and you know they are women and who are doing their work as women.